Good day, good people, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG Tubes YouTube channel. I am Phaedra Dion, owner and lead educator here at SVG Tubes. Back in December 2022, I did a short video on a quick way to create collages in Adobe Express. And within the last three weeks, I have had a couple of viewers who have commented on that video to let me know that that feature no longer exists. So I did a bit of research because I love that feature and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't there anymore. And I came across this post and it is Adobe asking, how can we improve Adobe Express? And 632 people upvoted the suggestion by Travis Linville that they needed to bring back the photo collage functionality. I wonder if they took it out because they thought people weren't using it, but there are a lot of people who are not happy about that feature not being there anymore. And some of the commenters on this thread mention other tools to use. Um, and as you can see here, there are like 15 pages. I won't go through them, of course. They're like, we don't want to use these other things. Bring this feature back. And according to Andy Lambert, who is the senior product manager at Adobe Express, they are working on bringing the feature back. In the meantime, he mentioned a different feature that can be used as an alternative. So let's check out this grids feature. So when I went back to Adobe Express, after not coming here for a while, I found out there are two ways to get to Adobe Express right now. This is the old link, adobe.com forward slash express. If you click on get Adobe Express for free. It will take you over to new.express.adobe.com. So you might as well just go to new.express.adobe.com because if you go to the original link, which is adobe.com forward slash express, and you go to create and you click on collage, it's going to take you here first. Then when you click create now, it's just going to kick you over to new.express.adobe.com. And you're not really going to be able to create a collage from scratch. You'll just get templates that will allow you to bring over the template and then replace the images. Now I'm using my free version of Adobe Express. I actually have the Adobe Creative Cloud, so I have the premium version, but I wanted to use the free version because I like showing free tools in my video. So let's go back over to new.express.adobe.com and see how we can make a grid. I am going to go and click on the little uh, plus symbol here in the blue circle and it's going to ask me what size I want first. So I will start with just a square. Now once I get to this screen, if you look over on the left hand side and come all the way down before try premium above add-ons, you'll see grid. Hover over it, it'll tell you create quick and easy collages with photos and videos by adding grid layout to your design. So this I think was originally their replacement for the quick collage feature, but it doesn't compare. If you look at my other video, you will see that you were able to bring in all your images and then it would put them in a collage for you based on the number of images and the sizes, whether it was portrait or landscape. So with grids, there are 40 options and you have to pick the option you want. And I'll pick this one and then I'll make it the size of my canvas. 
And what I discovered is if I go to media and upload from device, now notice there are eight spaces in this grid. You used to be able to just bring in all your media and it would put it in a grid based on how many images you brought in, but that's not the case with grids. So I will go to my folder and I will bring in all these images and it puts them nowhere. It does bring it into the canvas, but they're not in my grid. They are just free floating. And now I have to do all of the moving around and notice that they don't snap into the background of the grid. So I'm gonna do a control Z and show you what you have to do now. You can only bring them in one by one. So I'll click on the first image in the grid and I'll go to media and I'll go to upload from device and notice my images are not saved. I have to go back and bring them in once again. And so it will put it in that space and then I click the next one and go to media and then go to upload from device and I pick the next one and then I go to the next one and so forth and so on. So you can still make a collage with grids, but it's not as fast as it used to be. These things are cool because you can still resize your grid, but not as fast as it used to be. If you use the photo collage feature in Adobe Express or you want to use the photo collage feature the way it used to be in Adobe Express, they are bringing it back. Now this post by Albert Lambert was done on September the 4th and it's showing as planned. Uh, as of the making of this video, it's October 5th. So we're a month in and they haven't brought it back yet. Not sure when they're gonna bring it back. It doesn't say when they're gonna bring it back, but they say they're going to bring it back. So in the meantime and in between time, you have 40 grids to choose from and you can make some adjustments to these grids but you're limited to what they offer here i don't know if they're going to add any more and just remember that in order to get your images into the grid you basically bring them in one by one and i can click here on this image the little crown means that it's a premium image so if this works for me i can click that and bring it in and then if i double click on it I can move it back and forth and then when I click away, it'll show just the part that I want to show. But that ease of use that used to be there with the photo collage feature before isn't there now and I do hope they bring it back very soon. So if you need help, leave me a comment. If you have a question, leave me a comment. If you have a comment, leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching.